really been a concern going, you know, last year we'll say, they started to doubt whether he would be a miler or not. So I thought he ran a perfect fine race in the 2000 guineas but they obviously feel strongly they've come back here and look at he's the one to beat getting three pounds from hard time that's crucial yeah the penalty that hard time has to carry it, it, it is a deep race when you consider indian run just flashed up there at 125 to one he was a good two-year-old he won the acom he then went missing but he's had a wind up he's now back yeah he's he's a player what, what about that horse going in there night raider you remember him set off at Southall. we've already seen the 2000 guineas winner come from a few runs on the all weather at Kempton, and he, look, he bombed out in the 2000. He's on the recovery. Ryan's already given us a, a bit of a clip around the ear for dismissing horses mm -hmm. one bad run, hasn't he? He looks so good in the paddock. They make such an effort, the Burke team. If he didn't win best turned out, I would be astonished. The Jugmont contender, Kikuli, comes forward for Harry Charlton, who deserves a change of luck. And then there'll be a couple to come for the jersey. Richard. Dal Tornado and Task Force. Background El Bodon didn't quite go completely in and is having a little bit of a look before heading into stall number four. Rocking and rolling on the near side. Dark Tornado, I think, might have been responsible for rattling the stalls, but we are just about all set. Seven furlongs, three-year-olds for the Jersey Stakes. A group three contest. All clears given. And they leave the stalls. And away they head, Evan Shaddad in the red and white, one of the first to show, and right up the centre, never so brave, between them Native American as they congregate up the middle of the race course. Zoom Zoom tracks them, Hartem's red cap, gold sleeves just behind the pace, Kakuli races freely with boiling point, El Badon is in that second wave, and the big white face of Cortez Bay towards the outside. Night Raider very fierce towards the outer of Sigi's dream. At this stage, we race through the foot River Tibers in about fifth place. Pearls and Rubies at the back with Mountain Bear, then Sun, also under restraint. So out in the lead, it's Native American by half a length from Evan Shaddad, never so brave, and Hartum getting a nice trail in. Boiling Point comes next, Kukuli choke out in sixth place. A race is just ahead of Zoom Zoom towards the outside, Cortez Bay, El Badon. Task Force amongst horses with Night Raider towards the left hand side, and then still towards the back, Pearl and Rubies in company with Sun Mountain Bear, and just ahead of those is Chicago Critic, racing then down towards the final two and a half furlongs. Native American with Hartem poised in the red cap, never so brave to the left hand side, Kukuli trying to follow them in. At this stage, River Tiber is towards the left. It's Hartum who commits first, goes past, never so brave in second who's battling on, River Tiber just hanging slightly, Kikuli still sustaining the effort from the back mountain bear and also Chicago Critic trying to close out in the lead, Harton but Kikuli, despite racing keenly is still finding at the business end of the race, Harton with Kikuli who's got to a head, it is close Harton on the far side may just have repelled Kikuli who has got close, Chicago Critic mountain bear and task force maybe Harton was idling slightly or maybe Kikuli just come to the end of his tether, it is close. First impression was that Hartem on the far side had just held on. Kikuli, Chicago critics third, Mountain Bear is fourth. James Doyle has a glance down, checks his number cloth, he's number one. Kikuli, who was keen, is half brother to Frankel. It's in the hands of the judge. Well, I think we can confidently say Hartem hasn't lost. Here's the result. Nice. First number one, Hatam. He's won it. Third in the 2000 guineas. Second in the Irish 2000 guineas. Switch owners bought by Wathnan Racing. First in the Jersey Stakes. And Jason, it was some performance because it looked like Kikuli was coming to take him and he just dug out more. Yeah, absolutely. With that three-pound penalty, of course, he was successful in the Craven in the early part of the campaign. He then had run with credit um, over in Ireland and just got nailed on that occasion. Doyler commits early. It opened up beautifully and he travelled into it so well, right in behind the pace. And then he's there. Can they get him? Can they get me? Murta will be thrilled, won't he? Chicago critic in third. Yeah, How are you right. feeling if you're Harry Charlton? Sorry, Cheska. Oh, God, I think you're Harry Charlton, you're thinking, please can hand of God change my luck later this afternoon because they've had two seconds that arguably, well, not should have won, but that was really close there. Kikuli has run a massive race. It was only his third, uh, fourth lifetime.
time start. And when you think about it, Kevin, he's up against a really battered hardened horse in the shape of Harden, yeah. who gives his all. Oh, absolutely. Look, you couldn't say he didn't deserve it. He's been acquitting himself so well in top races. He got a beautiful toe into the 